everybody. It's Terry with the Drone Cav. Uh, thanks for watching today, and I hope everybody's being safe and doing well with this virus stuff and you know all this staying at home and all that. But of course, it's the smart thing to do. So that's what we're doing here. So today, I want to uh, to actually take you fly, and I want to work on a little technique, show you how some things are done. So we're going to take the Evo out today, out in my backyard actually. So not going to see any really wild or fancy landscape shots or anything. But I want to show you a couple variations on a crane shot. This is something you can practice right now if you have your drone. Again, you're stuck at home. Get out in the backyard, you know, barring you're in you know, clear flight zones and all that stuff and it's safe to do. And you can practice this stuff. So over the next few weeks, I want to go through some things like this. We're going to look at different types of shots and, uh, and some little tricks and techniques on how to pull those off. So anyway, let's go flying. Okay, so here we are on the uh, landing pad getting ready to take off. What we're going to do is a crane up, and then we're going to do a 360 panorama. We're going to spin around once we get to the top of the altitude here. So we've taken off, looking around here to get uh, line up our shot. So we're going to be working with the corner of the structure here, the corner of the uh, enclosure. Now the idea here is we're going to raise straight up. So we're going to start off at an altitude five, six feet off the ground. And we're going to do a slow rise to about 65 feet or so. And you'll see the house drop out of the frame as we go up. This is to build some suspense in the scene, uh, if that makes any sense. Because you don't really know what's out there. So we're going to see what's beyond the house as far as uh, the rest of the neighborhood, uh, the horizon, uh, more sky, things like that. So as you can see our climb here, more things come into view, the house drops out. And again, if we were in a more, uh, I guess, exciting area, more exciting environment, you'd see more, like more landscape or whatever, but hey, working from home today uh, in the pandemic things, so hey, we're flying out of my backyard, so this is what you got. Now we'll do a clockwise rotation here. And this is where you want to get that practice in with the sticks. You want to get smooth, you want to control your speed, you don't want to go too fast, not too slow. Again, you can adjust these things in post, but it's nice to get a nice smooth, even um, pan like this. And again, this is one of those things that comes with practice. And you can adjust your speed. You can always go really slow, you can go really fast. And uh, so there's a, a lot of uh, different variables there that you can decide to, to use whenever you need to apply it that way. Another cool thing when you're up at altitude, again, we're up about 65 feet roughly. You can do a no nice top-down shot. So you, there you see me down there, you see the landing pad, and you see that we need some rain because all the grass is kind of dry. Bring the camera back up. and we're going to come back home for landing. So that's kind of a nice quick uh, crane shot. Now we're going to do an object lock. Well that means we're going to fix on an area using dynamic track. And typically you'll think of this as locking on an object in motion, such as a car or motorcycle, so the drone will fly along and follow it, which that's fantastic too. But you can also use this to lock onto an object and use the camera on the drone sort of as a, a tripod to keep the drone fixed, keep that axis fixed vertically, but lock onto a subject to keep the camera on a certain point in your shot. So now I've got dynamic track on, I'm finding a, a nice spot here, and we're going to pick this section, kind of the corner area of the enclosure. Now we're going to tap start. The box goes green to tell us it's active and live. And now, as we gain altitude, see the difference here. You'll see that the... Um, the camera is staying fixed on that position even though we're climbing. I don't know if you noticed, but in this shot you can see the telemetry off the controller because this is recorded off the controller screen. The first section was from the drone's camera. So you can see we're up about 68 feet, uh, 68, 69 feet, and the camera has stayed locked right there. Now one thing you can't do is yaw or, or pan 
when you're up at altitude because it really doesn't make sense if you think about it. The camera is going to stay fixed. It doesn't matter the vertical axis orientation of the drone. So you, it's not going to make any difference. But what you can do is fly left or right or front or back. So you have those axes that are available. Now I'm just flying straight to the right. I'm going to fly straight to the left here in a second. And see how we almost get this kind of orbit as the camera stays locked on that one position. So that's uh, another cool effect. And again, letting the camera, the software and the camera control its position locking on that, that point frees you up to fly the drone a bit more, concentrate on that, and uh, also get a nice smooth camera motion as you're changing altitude. So we're going to come back in and the drone wants to kind of pull in. Notice how it went forward. That's why you want to get your manual flying skills down because there are going to be times you're going to have to take control of the sticks if you're using an automated flying mode. So we're going to get ready for landing. We're going to bring it home here. And here's my last little tip or trick or however you want to class it. When you're coming in for landing, this is what we call a precision landing. Without using the return to home, pitch the camera straight down so that way you can see your landing pad. Now this is for you to find the landing pad to come in and do a manual landing. Now the, uh, the sensors on the bottom of the drone manage the actual landing controls when you get there as far as shutting it down, but you want to find that. Again, any questions you can always reach me here, terry at blackdogdroneops.com or I'm a mentor at Romero Pictures in the mentor section of the Indy Brigade. So again, I'm wide open. Please feel welcome to contact me.